Welcome back, YouTube pipe smokers. Uh, Spurgeon Settings joining you in an early morning. Um, I am smoking out of my Rat Race Celtic 16. It has a beautiful pipe. Um, I bought this one about a month ago or so, maybe a little longer than that, and really been enjoying it. Um, I like uh, I, I like this style of pipe. Um, it's quite easy to, to clinch while reading or typing. Uh, this one's a bit on the heavier side, so there is, that is a slight disappointment. And also this lip here, I wish it was a more pronounced. Um, Peterson's pipes, so this is a Peterson pipe. Um, you can tell the lip's more pronounced. Um, I like that more pronounced lip as it's easier to, to hang off the mouth. So that's just a slight um, correction I would have liked, but it's still a, a great pipe, still fits, something I'll keep around. Um, I'm, of course, smoking Chelsea Morning, my morning blend with coffee, which is what I always pair it with. Uh, and that's what I wanted to get into this morning. Um, what do you drink when you smoke your tobacco? Now, first, personally, I'll just go personally and then get into more broad uh, options or, or what others typically do. Um, typically for me in the morning or, or in a day, I have a routine. And so in the mornings, it's nine times out of 10, um, I'm drinking coffee with whatever I'm smoking. And typically that is going to be Chelsea morning, at least for the first bowl. And then I usually move into another blend uh, right before I get into work. And, uh, and if I finish out my coffee, then I'll just have water. Um, getting into the morning, if I'm actually working at home, um, you know, instead of driving around uh, doing some errands or uh, working in my church office, if I'm at home, I'll usually just have more water or uh, I might make a, uh, a hot tea to go with uh, whatever I'm smoking. Then we get back into uh, in the afternoon uh, after lunch. Um, I might have a cup of coffee then, just as a boost with my with my pipe, and if it's not that, it's typically water as well. Um, and then as we get into the evening, when I usually have a, a bowl or two to finish out the day, um, it is definitely usually uh, a chai tea um, with uh, or or a different type of tea, just a herbal tea, um, and with cream with it. Um, and if I finish that out, it's again water. Um, I'll occasionally smoke a, a, a diet drink, a diet soda, um, or a, a sparkling water. Uh, occasionally we'll have those on hand and I'll smoke one with that, but usually just water um, if it's not tea or, or coffee. Uh, I think they make great pairings, especially with milk um, or cream. That is uh, something that often goes, I, I've noticed goes well with uh, many of the pipe blends that I do smoke as that creaminess. Um, really blends well with more uh, of the smoky or the uh, the uh, a lot of the the deeper characters of the of the blends that I smoke. Um, that doesn't really make sense, but I, I, it really pairs well. I, I found, and so that's usually what I what I smoke, and I and I'm slowly introducing or trying out different teas to, to smoke with my my blend so I get why the the English or the British are, are real known for putting milk into their tea it really adds a little something there so um, we don't do that much in America um, but I think there's a lot of merit to it and I've really been enjoying it uh, you'll see a lot of folks and maybe you do it as well um, smoke or, or drink uh, alcoholic drinks with their with their smokes uh, and I have actually maybe once done that. Only once, I think. A um, couple reasons why I don't. Uh, one, I don't really keep alcohol around in the house. Um, and, and not because I'm against it or anything like that. It's uh, kind of two reasons why I don't. Uh, one is um, I do have those around that I um, help uh, uh, that are in my church um, that help counsel and, and and disciple they struggle with alcohol and alcohol alcoholism 
and so for that reason, I, I don't, because if I have them over at the house, I do not want them to be lured or tempted or uh, uh, seeking that out uh, for their sake. And so for that reason, I don't. Uh, another reason why I don't is because I put all my uh, all of my hobby money or my extra expenses into two things, uh, either books or pipe tobacco or pipes, pipe tobacco, the, this hobby. And so all my money go into those two things. So I don't really have money I want to put into drinking or, or alcohol. Um, I, I have and I will occasionally drink on holidays if I'm with my family. Uh, but it's just not something I get into all that much because I want to put my money towards pipe tobacco. And alcohol can get cheap or expensive. Um, so for that reason, I don't. But I know those who do, especially with bourbon and whiskey, they like to pair it with uh, with their pipes. Uh, so that might be something you're interested in. Um, there are forums and, um, and and sites that you can look into pairing different blends with different uh, cocktails. So that might be something you're interested in. I will, however, give you a caution. Um, this is a caution I've received from my dentist and from others in the pipe smoking community is be careful with uh, pairing your alcohol with your pipe smoking. It's, it's, it's kind of a bad combination for your mouth um, as far as drying and call it, possibly causing other issues. Um, I think if you, uh, you can offset that with occasionally uh, just having water on hand and, and kind of substituting that occasionally when you're drinking. Uh, so uh, just, just be aware of that. Uh, I, of course, don't don't drink alcohol, but my dentist did make that comment. He's like, hey, I, he knows about my me smoking a pipe, and he just made the comment about uh, be careful adding the two together. So that might be something you want to look into um, for your health. So uh, yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, what you drink when you smoke, um, what kind of beverages you have, and what do you think pairs well. Uh, I'd, I'd like to know. I'm always interested in trying out what goes well. Uh, with uh, with my pipe. So guys, that's all I have this morning. Um, I hope you guys are doing well and we will talk to you all soon.